So guys, welcome back to the test robot automation. In today's concept, in today's video, we're going to learn how to implement the concept of hooks. Um, I got uh, lots of questions regarding this one as well, like how we can set up the concept of hooks. So in today's video, we're going to learn about the concept of hooks. Let's start it. Under the test block, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a new folder, say hooks, okay. And under the hooks, I will be making a new file called hooks.js. Okay. So what this file is for? So this file will help us to uh, do some configuration. Let's say if we want to do something before each and every scenario or after each and every scenario or before each and every feature or after each and every feature file get executed. So this hooks.js is gonna help us in those types of scenarios. Okay, how? Let's see. So hooks.js, if you guys know about this one, like what we are doing, we are importing all these, uh, all these things over here. Let's do it the same here in this hooks.js. Okay, I don't need all, uh, test except expect we're going to import it later on but if you guys know about this create bdd what exactly it does is importing all these things can you see so let's import just before after so let's do this one i'm just going to copy this from here and paste it over here and i don't need given when and then Instead of this, what I need is before all and what after all, right? So uh, if I just do uh, here, if I just say what I want to do, I want to do before. So we are going to have a before block and in before block, what is our before block? Before block is our asynchronous block. So before is a synchronized block and here I'm just going to print one particular statement as a console log say console dot log this is a before before this is before let's see let's let's be as it is simple okay so we just gonna know when exactly these all statements are being getting executed and what i'm just going to copy this copy this and copy this and here i'm just going to say this is what after and this is what before all and this is after all okay so we have defined all this one and let, let's define the statement as well. This is a after, this is before all and this is after all. Okay, so we have defined just a simple logic here with the console log console log this is before this is after and this is before all and this is after all right but now when we will execute this command let me execute this in the terminal new terminal okay and here now if i just do npm run test okay this is a simple command which we executed it in each and every test case each and every videos npm run test if you guys are new here you just come here to do this particular package.json file and you can check like what this particular command is doing so npm run bdd gen and npm run playwright test okay so this is what our command is doing and what is playwright test playwright test is npx playwright test reporter html worker one headed and other stuff so look our test cases got started, but let's see the console, whether I'm getting the before all or not. Look, I'm not getting any before all 
or any other things here when i'm when i'm executing executing this particular way why because our playwright config.js file doesn't have the logic of the hooks so let me just terminate this job for now and show you how to give a logic to our playwright config.js file okay so here in our playwright config.js file we have to give a logic to this this file like our hooks are present where is our hooks are present so you can just copy the path for this file say copy the relative path okay and here you can just provide your hooks like this way so you can do any configuration in your hooks you can provide your uh, browser open uh, open browser close browser and other stuff so uh, connecting to the database uh, disconnecting to the database or accessing a particular uh, url or accessing a particular path so whatever you guys have a configuration you can give it here like this way i have just given it as a console log just to showcase you like how we can implement the hooks in this particular framework but my major logic of uh, invoking the a uh, browser is uh, playing around with the config.js file i like to manipulate different different uh, scenarios inside this particular js file which we can see in another upcoming like language soon i will be posting the api testing videos as well with this particular framework so we just going to add one particular uh, folder of api test and we going to start our api test as well so let's see now we have given this logic to our player config.js file say this is our test hooks.js right so now if i do npm run test okay before that i have to do some cleaning because my feature gen is already generated right so if you are new here please review the very first to second first second third first second and third videos right where i have i have shown you how we generate this particular folder auto generation with this library so please review those videos okay so let me just do npm run clean so what this command going to do this command will remove all the directory which is feature gen okay rmdir remove directory as q so this command we am executing and and uh, removing that feature gen right i'm just going to do cls and now i will do npm run test let's see our before block and after block is getting executed or not right okay this case has got invoked so we have our user authentication developed first okay right look very first it is executing this is before all this is before okay so we get, we got executed now this is after so this is before all before all is uh, is the execution when you can do it uh, for a feature level and this is before is you can do the execution on the scenario level this is after can you see it's very nicely printing all before all before after blocks right why you know guys we why we are getting this particular after all again uh, because we are executing the three different feature files can you see we have three different feature files that's why it gonna print so this is the way uh, you have to execute the hooks i hope you like this particular video and you have if you have any question query for this particular video please let me know the code will be pushed to github the one which uh, i will link to the account to this particular library but yeah in in another lecture we going to see how we can invoke just a particular chrome browser through the hooks so what we can do in the in the next lecture what we will do we will come here in this player config.js file and we going to comment out this particular uh, 
thing and we're going to see how we can open the chrome with before all okay before before not before all before is all is a feature level and we need, we will need this particular thing at before level right so we will see that particular step in upcoming lecture so hope you guys uh, enjoy this particular video series and if you have any question queries please comment and uh, let me know any feedback for my video uh, uh, all the feedbacks are really welcomed and thank you for uh, giving such a huge number of subscribers so we have we are on now 663 subscribers uh, which is a great great achievement within 8 months yeah uh, so thank you guys for supporting my videos and keep safe keep well and please subscribe to the test over automation if you have any question query please put it in the comment section or email me i will uh, put my email on each and every video so please go and watch the enhance your skills on the playwright bdd thank you guys thank you for your uh, for your support and in a, in men, in other lecture we're going to do the whole ci cd pipeline and lots of other things going to be coming up so stay tuned and please subscribe thank you bye mm -hmm.